All right, I'm a little energetic guy. I know I weigh about 165 pounds, but how's it going? Fantastic, fantastic. Rick, thank you, first of all, for changing the math on me. In my head all night, I kept trying to memorize 716, 716, 716. And I just saw 605. So I'm going to figure this speech out here as we go along. I uh, just want to say, first of all, thank you for uh, hosting, Rick. Appreciate your partnership uh, with Monroe, Madison, Middletown City Schools, and Edgewood. Um, I cannot continue without saying a special thank you to the crafty veteran that's here, Mr. Phil Cagwin. I believe you're over here somewhere. Phil, could you stand up for me, please? You know, when you're the rookie to a team, often you get uh, kind of harassed a little bit. And you're in the locker room, they have you do certain things and welcome you to the, to the team. Well, I think this is my initiation by the old crafty veteran. Phil is uh, retiring this year. We're going to miss him. Uh, but I guess this is your parting gift, and I greatly appreciate it, having the rookie take the mic. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how I'll be able to get back at you for that, but thank you. Uh, tonight, uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes. Rick said 15. I had uh, another young person tell me seven. Um, my wife said just stay around 10. Uh, so we'll just see how long we go and uh, hopefully leave tonight a little inspired. Um, I want to start with three words. Why, how, and what. Not sure what order makes sense, but those are three words that really stand out to me right now in this moment. Given the crowd and the presence and the individuals that we have, regardless of title or position, the area that you serve or the, the students that you serve also, it does not matter. But what matters tonight is how, what, and why. I think the word that's most important given that 605 number right now is the word why. And I relate that right back to motivation. What is our motivation right now this minute? We are all pulling for the same reason, those 605, that 740 total before the math got, got broken down. The 740 is most important, but even the 605 is just as important as well as the, the entire number. Why? What's our motivation for what we're trying to do? The students. And that all translates in our efforts to what? A prosperous environment. So to bring it all back together, just really quick and kind of walk our way through this, what I want to highlight tonight is why are we here? Not what are we trying to do and how are we going to do it? My message to you tonight is let's pause for just a moment and ask why we are here and why do we need to do something so that we have a prosperous environment? Why do we need to do something for the 605? Why do we need to do something for the 740? We all have ideas, we all have resources, we all have programs, we all have dollars, we all have time. That will help us determine the what and the how. But I encourage us right now at this moment in time to be very innovative in our approach, be very bold in what we want to do, but let's start with the why. If you take just a few moments while this guy up here rambles and just think inside mentally, what is your why? What is it? What is your why? What is your motivation for doing what you do? If you can answer that question, doesn't matter if you're talking about being a parent, being a mentor, being a businessman, being an elected official, does not matter. But if you can answer the why, what is your motivation for doing what you do? Figuring out the what and the how is the easy part. But we often start with the how and forget to think about the why. So today I'm up here to challenge the entire room. Someone challenged me a couple weeks ago. I did follow through on that, John Graff. But today I want to challenge the room to start talking about the why. And don't just talk about the why with your organization. Talk about the why with the entire area. Because five years from now, we're going to boom in this entire area. Before it booms, let's figure out the why together. So that when the boom happens, the how and the what has been executed with precision, and we all will celebrate a prosperous environment. And hopefully, that, six, four, that 605, I almost went back to the other math, the 605 is significantly reduced. Hopefully, that 740 just demonstrates the number that just says pure success for students, that says pure success for future employers, that says pure success for future employees so that our environment prospers. 
And I know that's something that's very important to the chamber, creating a prosperous environment. But in our pursuit over the next five years, as we all come together before the boom happens, let's figure out our motivation together. Let's figure out our why together. And oftentimes that's difficult to accept because it won't feel like work's taking place, but really it is. My grandma told me, and she was pretty wise, she always says, slow down or speed up. So let's slow down for just a moment, figure out the why together collectively before we move to those next two pieces in that equation. We've been saying it in Middletown City Schools, now is the time. And if I could offer that same piece of advice to everyone in the room, now is the time for all of us to come together. Now it is. We've been trying to tell our story. We've got so many good things to, to praise ourselves about. But the innovative pieces, the innovative approaches, the creative minds that are in this room, if we work together, the possibilities are endless. If we start with the first part of the equation, our motivation. So I challenge you tonight to find someone, another teammate, another partner, another organization preferably, and talk about your why. Share your motivation so that we can have a prosperous environment. In Middletown City Schools, we just released our strategic plan as well, and I thank our Board of Education for all their support. I thank all of you in this room who are part of the strategic planning committee. We are trying to break the mold in education, period, end of story. The days of chairs lined up in desks, I have to look behind someone's head and listen to an adult talk at me, the days are over with. Our students won't succeed in that type of an environment. So we are trying to break the mold. There are a lot of educators in this room right now that are trying to break the mold with us. And we're blessed to have them uh, engage in conversation with us. One thing I really appreciate uh, Rick about is when we talk about bold, innovative ideas, you know what Rick always says? Let's figure it out, Marlon. What do we need to do? Who can I go talk to to get in the conversation? So not to be selfish about Middletown, the invitation on behalf of the other three districts that the chamber serves, we want to invite our business community to partner with us as we explore this notion of the why. We want to partner with you. We want to break down the doors, allow you to come in and partner with us to redefine how we educate our students. If you have the innovative mind and you want to be at the table, come on in. We will always tell you yes. My dad said, I always listen to you, but I may not get a yes. Well, I believe in saying yes. You got an idea that makes sense, then say yes, if it is innovative and it truly is going to uh, provide success for students. So now is the time. Please partner with us, not just the four districts that uh, the chamber serves, but also Butler Tech as well. Please partner with us to help break the mold of how we educate our kids. Another statistic, whether we want to like it or not, 80% of the jobs predicted in the next 10 years will have what in common? What will they require? Technology. 80% of the jobs in the near future will require you to have skills to be able to function at a high level with technology. So as you're thinking innovatively about what we can do to break the mold in education, we've got to marry that with technology. Our kids are far superior than we ever will be. I shouldn't say that about everybody. There's probably some super users in this group. But our kids are, are working with technology right now, even when we're not around. And when we introduce them to different technology resources, they already know how to interact with it. We recently did an hour of coding at uh, Middletown, across the entire district. We had some basic coding pieces in place. The kids came in and they just blew it out of the water. We already got this, we already got this, we already got this. Here's how you do it. So we've got to raise our level. We've got to increase our ability to provide them with an education uh, that is elite so that we can have a prosperous community. Again, I challenge you to figure out your why. I challenge you to stay motivated and I also challenge you to continue to partner with our schools uh, to better educate our students. The doors are open and we uh, certainly welcome you. On behalf of Middletown City Schools, I encourage you to rise up and be the reason. If you would say it with me, hashtag Midi Rising. Thank you very much.